Hey guys, Miss Marcus here, and as you can see, we're back playing some My Club. As you see, we're in Division 9 still. We have like 7 points or something. We need 10 to get promoted. No, we have 6 points. We need 10 to get promoted. But in today's episode, we have 2 matches for you. Again, we don't have any ball openings in this episode because it's all just devoted to actual matches. And as you can see, also from the length of the video, it's only just over 6 minutes long because, again, I sort of cut out some stuff which was completely unnecessary when I edit videos before and quickened up some other stuff. So basically, it makes it a little bit more well easier for me to actually commentate over but with that being said going to the first match of this episode against the guy who has Andrew Diaz Boas as his manager he's got Cristiano Ronaldo up front Eric Lamella right wing uh, Andrew AU left wing Santi Cathorla playing attack in midfield as well as the likes of Kieran Clark and uh, Benedict Havadez at the back so he's got a pretty decent team of course Cristiano Ronaldo up there always going to struggle and more or less that is what basically happens I struggle like hell against this particular guy but again i'm playing at home and I, again just struggle it's for some reason my home form is just horrendous but anyway we basically play our strongest um yeah our strongest team actually and as you see here in the 13th pin of the match here d'alessandro on the ball plays it into raul garcia up garcia throw on goal gets a strike away hits it wide because again rustiness 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 the 21st minute of the match he gets basically an opportunity he then basically it's really weird mandanda throws the ball at ribery ribery for whatever reason decides not to run towards the ball Tony Cruz takes a huge touch there, Botia takes not a huge touch, Ronaldo gets the ball. He skins past me, but Prado goes flying in with a sly tackle and for whatever reason he decides not to go through the ball and just goes basically past the player. Ronaldo scores. Basically from kickoff, I get an opportunity with Gerard, basically from 7 yards out and I miss the goal. Again, just no composure on my side. In the 32nd minute of the match, Garcia gets played from goal by Hernandez, Garcia threw on goal, Raul Garcia and Raul Garcia this time actually pops it in to equalise. And in the 39th minute of the match, Adela Sandro takes a quick free kick to Durar. Durar just plays it down the line towards Javi Hernandez. Crosses it first time. Actually, he doesn't cross it first time at all. He runs past about three players. This is like ridiculous from Javi Hernandez. Skinning past players that like are not even there. Gets a strike away and he hits it just wide again. So all these opportunities came down towards me playing at home. I just need to get basically two more points or three more points to or one more point to stay in the division and uh, four to win it. But or to get promoted. But anyway. In the 59th minute of the match here, he plays ball down for Eric Lamella, plays it straight through to Cristiano Ronaldo, nothing I could do, Ronaldo throw on goal. Mandanda just stands in the goal and just sort of accepts defeat, he just doesn't even try and put his foot up to stop it. Again, Mandanda, well, sort of, maybe should have, well, he couldn't have really done much against that one. But in the 71st minute, really poor defending from me with Viriana, I run too far to the left, he crosses in, Ronaldo scores another goal, so he scores a hat-trick with Ronaldo, and then in the 87th minute of the match here, blow golf down his left-hand side, plays it into Dirar. Gerard takes one touch and just finesses it into the bottom corner to make it 4-2 and then in the last minutes of the match he gets another strike away, he gets a shot away with, um, with Ronaldo and Dan actually saves it and then Lamella heads it in the back of the net to make it 5-2 If you take out Ronaldo's goals, take Ronaldo out of his team, I draw this game 2-2 but nothing I can really do about that because you know, that would just be cheating but as you see there from the stats he's more or less dominated the match at 10 shots, 9 on target and of course it was always expected so into the last match of this episode, again, still in Division 9, not going to change anything about that, can't really do anything to change that. Anyway, we're playing our last match against, in, in this, well, our last second, our third last match. We've basically got three matches to save our season. If, we, if I get relegated at any time in this, like, series, I'll probably just stop, because it's just like, what the hell is the point? I don't really want to go out of my way to have to play for a lot more games, because basically I want to be in, like, Division, if I want to do this properly, I want to be in Division 1 by, like, 2016. So it gives you like two months to do that, which isn't really that hard. But anyway, we play against a guy called OS. Is it OS? Right, it looks like OS Nazarenos. And basically, I play with my backup team. My backup team of Mitro up front, Ayatola, Ford, Montero, Albright, and Genus. The team which supposedly has good chemistry, but doesn't really have good chemistry at all. And basically, if I just played my better team, I would have probably won this game against um, OS Nazarenos. But now, nah, for whatever reason, I decided to rest my good players and play my backup team. I figured out that if you basically play your rest players in a com in a match against a computer, it does count and you basically get your team completely full fitness. And I didn't know that until after I did this episode, so it's really, really annoying because I do it in the next episode. You'll see in, you'll see what I'm talking about when you actually watch the next episode. But anyway, in a six minute in the match, our genius on the ball plays it into Mitra. Mitra takes one touch and then Mitra actually pops in back in the net to score what is it? third goal or whatever, it's ridiculous, Mitra scoring all these goals, but then I just show how ridiculously inconsistent he actually is when I'm through on goal in the 11th minute, get a strike away, and he hits it so far wide it's just ridiculous, but in the 31st minute of the match he gets through on goal, it sort of lags out so slightly, Mandanda does a pretty decent job of saving it, 
And then uh, Klein basically just gives the ball away because Klein is a horrendous right back. Uh, F Klein, not Nathaniel Klein. But in the 37th minute of the match, really poor defending from Keon gives him an opportunity. He scores with um, uh, Lopez. And then in the, la in the 40th minute, the game trolls me completely when really good tackle from Keon. And he just picks up the ball because I couldn't run it past him. For whatever reason, Klein just decides to run the ball straight into him rather than like, detect the fact that he's on the floor and just kick the ball up. Just runs straight into him, gives him an opportunity and he scores. And he got like, the stats sort of show that he had more shots, but in reality, he only had more shots because he had a lot more periods of, of time and he got a lot of shots away on my goal, not doing much. Keon makes a huge mistake there when I try and clear the ball. I press square, he decides to pass it out like an absolute fool. And then they score again. Then in the 59th minute, basically the 60th minute of the match, Klein on the ball here takes a really heavy touch and I told him to pass it. Like the game has some form of input lag. Mandanda doesn't do anything in goal. And I was like, okay, screw you, Mandanda. And I got rid of him completely. Well, he's still in the squad. He's still in the, my squad. But I'm going to have to bring in Gianluigi Buffon, change some things about so I can get back my uh, strongest sides. But anyway, Montero scores a header in the, like, basically the last minutes of the match. Michu this time actually gets running through on goal past Marcus Rojo like he's not even there. And in the last minutes of the match, Michu gets through on goal and pops him back the net to make it 4-3 to me. 4-3 to me, 4-3 to him. And in the last minutes of the match, I play through on goal and the referee blows the whistle. So 4-3 defeat in our second match and we have two matches left to save our skin in this My Club series to stay in Division 9, which is just ridiculous or potentially get to Division 8. But yeah, basically if you have enjoyed this video, Subscribe to my channel for more and catch you later.